What is up everyone? Welcome back for yet another video of Dark Souls 2. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how to get unlimited Titanite chunks early on in the game. This allows you to really fully upgrade one of your weapons pretty soon in the game and just pretty much make the rest of your playthrough quite trivial. Now you're going to need a Pharaoh's Lockstone. Come down here once you've beaten the Ruined Sentinels and place that into the lockbox area. And you'll open up this secret passage here, which leads to the Belfry Luna. Now, you're going to talk to a little guy here on the right, and he is going to be really weird. He's kind of insane, in fact. The idea is you join this particular covenant. He gives you a ring. You put on that ring, and you'll be summoned to just gank a bunch of people that are trying to get through this area. In the meantime, you'll be getting ganked as well if you are in the area. In fact, I can get ganked at any time here. So all you do is just pull out your mad PvP skills, which if you don't have any, you'll probably acquire some eventually. Best thing I learned to do, I, I use some old whips. Those are pretty good for PvP. Use a bow for sniping some people out. You can use a spear for long range. And overall, just get some practice in and learn how to backstab. There's a lot of things to it. This is not a tutorial on how to PvP. Simply a video showing you that not only can you have a lot of fun for a pretty good amount of time here in this area, but you can farm a lot of Titanite chunks. The cool thing about this PvP is none of the people in here are really that good at PvP, as a lot of them aren't really designed for PvP. You're just basically killing people that are low level, and are running through this zone in order to kill the boss. And on top of that, you usually get to double team them. So a lot of times when I invade someone, if I'm not going to win the fight, if I'm doing really bad, then I could just cheese it and run away. And eventually someone else gets someone, uh, or they kill themselves like a bunch of tards. Ah, uh, it's okay, I've done the same thing. Anyways, a lot of times you can actually have someone else get summoned, and then they will help you and you'll just kill them and you're basically just farming kills here and ganking people for Titanite chunks. That's pretty much the way I see it. You can be as honorable as you like, but then again, if you want honorable PvP, you can just go duel and a different covenant. So this one is just where you can hang out and screw with people and be an overall jerk in low level fun PvP. I actually really, really, really enjoy this. It's a lot of fun. I mean, just as much as I enjoy fair competitive pvp this type of play style is just ah man this is the thing that makes me enjoy dark souls so much i remember the very first time when i was playing dark souls 1 i didn't even know the game had multiplayer at all i got invaded by somebody and there was some scary guy with twinked out gear chasing me around kicking my butt and i was like what the hell is going on i did not know this was even possible and those are the moments that just made me smile so big in the game. So this is just adding to everyone else's experience. You'll notice I was fighting a guy there and someone else summoned themselves in, ran in and finished the fight for me. Pretty much I'm just going to show you some fairly, you know, simple moments of me invading people in here and PvPing. Almost got taken out right there. I'm going to pull out the whip and the spear as they do have really long range. One of the best ways to figure out how to beat people is to wait for them to attack and then you just kind of go in for a counterattack afterwards. You can also kind of bait people into running into these NPCs. These guys hurt really bad. Watch this. So this little midget man run around here, I got an axe! And he's just going to be swinging around. So now this guy has to deal with that little fucker and while he gets messed up, <laughs> that's the second time in this video someone has killed themselves. Yeah! Yeah! as if I'm really that skilled, right? But the idea, like I said, is to take advantage of your surroundings, use the NPCs to kill these guys off, and double team people when possible. It's not always gonna work out that way, but you get summoned constantly. Like, you, actually, you can use this ring. I, I actually just stood here and fought people for a long time on fun, but if you're actually going through the rest of the zone, which, if you're watching my walkthrough series, you'll, uh, you'll see the next zone soon enough. But if you're going through that zone, you can just leave the ring on, and every time you kill someone in PvP, you'll refresh all your SS flasks. If you're a spellcaster, you'll refresh all your spell uses. Well, that is if you actually kill someone. And so it's a good way to just keep yourself all healed up and everything while you're exploring the rest of the area. But however you decide to do it, it's a lot of fun in my opinion. And it's very useful in order to upgrade your items. 
after you get, I think, 20 kills, I could be wrong, it's either 20 or 30 kills, then you can go back and talk to that little midget again, and he'll give you a Titanite slab. If you really want to keep doing this, I think after 100 kills, you actually get the Bellkeeper armor. Oh, there's the backstab, yeah! But you get the Bellkeeper armor, you can look like one of those little midgets. I don't know how cool you think that is. But anyways, that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you find yourself in some fun PvP, team, <laughs> PvP time action. Until next time, peace out.